In September 2022, Russian forces fled the Ukrainian town of Balaklia. But they left their traces everywhere. One of them is this abandoned building, which the Russians used as a military base during their occupation of Balaklia. It was here that Reuters discovered thousands of documents, revealing the inner workings of the Russian military. Inside, posters reading, do not smoke, do not litter. If we leave, they will come. Notebooks and loose papers showing coordinates of Russian intelligence units, records of calls from commanders, details of battles, names of men killed, equipment destroyed, and accounts of a breakdown in morale and discipline. In all, Reuters reviewed more than a thousand pages of documents. They shed new light on events leading up to one of President Vladimir Putin's most stinging battlefield defeats, Russia's chaotic retreat from Ukraine's northeast in September. Slava Ukraine! Slava! In early March 2022, Russian troops occupied the small riverside town of Balaklia. They took over a rundown vehicle repair complex on the outskirts of town and turned it into the command centre for Balaklia and dozens of surrounding villages and farms. It was here in the basement that Reuters found the document cache. They show that in the weeks before the defeat, the Russian troops were struggling with surveillance and electronic warfare. They were using off-the-shelf drones flown by barely trained soldiers and their equipment for jamming Ukrainian communications was often out of action. By the end of July, Russian officers were convinced Ukrainian forces were preparing a counter-offensive to take control of Balaklia, the documents show. The Balaklia command set about drafting in more troops, but a spreadsheet dated August 30th showed that the force was at only 71% of full strength. Another spreadsheet tracked equipment. The force had four faggot anti-tank weapon systems left, down from 24. By the end of August, the force was depleted, hit by death, desertions and combat stress. To verify the authenticity of the documents, Reuters visited five abandoned military outposts in northeast Ukraine, whose coordinates were recorded in the cache. In each instance, local residents confirmed that Russian forces were stationed there. We also interviewed five soldiers who served in the Balaklia force. One of them described a sense of menace hanging over the occupiers as Ukrainian strikes intensified. The Kremlin referred questions for this story to the Defence Ministry. It did not respond. Russia has said previously its military has everything it needs to fight the war. The Russian military base in Balaklia also served as a detention centre for captured Ukrainian veterans. Other locals were detained at the police station, according to residents. School principal Tetiana Tovstokora says she was held there for several days. They took us straight to the first floor, up these stairs. What a life. But we are undefeatable. We are Ukrainians. We will remain Ukrainians. We will remain strong. Albina Streletz, a 33-year-old logistics coordinator for the emergency services, says she and other women were held simply for being pro-Ukrainian. She recalls hearing other detainees being savagely beaten and raped. To drown these sounds out, we opened the toilet and removed a part to let the water flow continuously, so it sounded like a waterfall. This took our attention away from the horrible sounds. We did the same with the taps. We let the water run, and the water ran day and night as long as there was water in the city. The sounds overshadowed the ones coming from the other cells. Russia has said its forces do not target civilians and denied allegations of brutality.
Ukraine's counteroffensive began in earnest on September the 6th. Four days later, Russia announced that it had abandoned Balaklia and neighboring Izium in what it called a pre-planned regrouping to fight in Donetsk. Weeks after the Russian retreat, all that remained of the headquarters is a giant crater and a pile of documents. An anonymous staff officer wrote reflectively in a notebook. He appears to be imagining his life in the future, in a city on the Russian border with China, more than 4,000 miles away from Balaklia.